Dueling with swords or firearms was an integral part integral inter integral was an integral part of human culture for many years, up until the late 19th century. Dueling allowed the participants to reclaim their honor against someone who sullied it. People would shoot or slice each other to shreds for everything from petty insults to political defamation to the love of a woman. They were just cooler back then. Here are a few instances of duels and fights I found interesting. The Most Serene Order of Cuckolds In 1834, Russian poet Alexander Pushkin got a letter from an unknown sender proclaiming that he was elected to the most serene order of cuckolds. It was a sly hint at rumors that his wife was cheating on him. Georges de Anthes, a French military officer and politician, is thought to have been the sender. Pushkin challenged de Anthes to a duel, but due to him getting married, it was canceled. However, in 1837, after years of strife between the two, they accepted a duel. Pushkin was shot in the duel and died two days later. Damn, that's ass. De Anthes was stripped of his officer status and ordered to leave Russia. So, not the happiest ending, but it's crazy that people were willing to kill over anonymous insults back then. We'd never do that shit now. Duel of the Teats This duel was fought between two baby girls, Princess Pauline Metternich, Metternich, Metternich of Austria and Countess Kyle Manseg of Russia. And if you haven't guessed by now, it was fought topless. Princess Pauline was 56 years old at the time, with the Countess being 32. The feud between the two women started because of a disagreement about the floral arrangements at the Viennese International Exhibition of Music and Theater of 1892. It was called the Emancipated Duel, as only women were involved. How's that for equality? Baroness Lubinska, a Polish noblewoman trained in medicine, oversaw the duel. Before it started, she suggested both women take off any clothes down to the waist as she had observed less infections when clothes did not come in contact with wounds. This is most likely due to the clothes not being entirely clean as they didn't have nice washing machines back then and hygiene still wasn't widely accepted. Dirty asses, dirty pussies, dirty cocks, you name it. It was there. Anyways, they equipped themselves with swords, popped those boobers out, <laughs> and started their duel. Soon the princess had sliced some of the countess's nose. This shocked the princess and she recoiled at what she had just done. Taking advantage of this, the Countess poked her in the forearm. So after all this happened, the guys who were there to help the wounded heard the cries coming from the women and ran over to help them, supposedly. The Baroness thought that the men were just trying to see some titty and screamed, Avert your eyes! Avert your eyes, you lustful wretches! And hopefully they got to see some milkers before Baroness Cockblock stepped in. So everything concluded and the Princess was declared the winner. I don't know why she was the winner. It seems like the Countess got more of a solid hit on the Princess, but I've never dueled anyone. Unless you count 1v1ing on Rust as dueling. So yeah, this was a hot duel. Would have loved to have been there. I couldn't find out what happened to these ladies after this spat, but I like to imagine that they went home, took the rest of their clothes off, and started kissing. Blunder busted. This last duel we're going to talk about is one of the strangest in history. In Paris, France, the year of our Lord 1808, a love triangle began to deteriorate. Mademoiselle Thirviet, a ballet dancer, was fucking Monsieur de Grand Prix, a sailor and former slave trader. At some point, Monsieur Le Pic came into the picture, and also probably Mademoiselle Thirviet as well. Grand Prix didn't like that Le Pic was dropping loads in his woman, so they both agreed to duel. Not some pussy duel on the ground. They were dueling in the sky, in hot air balloons. They trained for a month, then, on June 22nd, they each lifted off in separate balloons to the height of half a mile. The weapon of choice for this duel was the blunderbuss, a precursor to the shotgun. Mr. Le Pique fired first, missing Grand Pre and his balloon. Grand Pre raised his blunderbuss and fired, damaging Le Pique's balloon. I don't know why, but I've been rooting for Grand Pre this entire time. The sources I read about this duel made it seem like Mademoiselle Tyvit was fucking Grand Pre first and then Le Pique. So I don't know, that makes him good, I guess. He was also at this time a former slave trader. Not a current slave trader. So he was a good guy. Also, I just thought of something as I'm recording this. It would be cool if there was a battlefield game set around the 1800s, like during the American Civil War or the French Revolutionary War, and you got to pilot hot air balloons and shoot at other people from them. Just a thought, Dice. You can have it. Anyways, Le Pique's balloon fell to the earth, killing him and his second, which from what I can tell is a kind of dual assistant that would help the dueling participants with formalities and such, so that sucks that he died as well. 
He wasn't even dueling. It's not known what became of Grand Prey and Tyvit's relationship after this duel, but imagine if they fucked after. Imagine how cool you'd feel fucking the woman you just killed a man in a hot balloon over. And if history is right, Monsieur de Grand Prey is the only lucky person that even had a chance of experiencing that euphoria. Well, thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you want more slop, please like, subscribe, comment, and tell your family and friends about my videos, especially your grandparents. I think they'll love them. As always, I'm gay. As always, I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm fucking gay. <laughs> As always, I'm a gay little man.